Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Battle for Rasnoth, home of the North Elves. So we are trying to reach the the Elves territory after having gone through the Swamp of Dread and uh, have found ourselves in the middle of a incoming fight uh, between the um, the forces of Rasnoth coming from the south and then the orcs uh, who have a really really huge ship in the north trying to counter the humans. Yeah, so there's going to be a great battle that's going to take place and Conrad somehow has to reach the place uh, where the elves live uh, to the east of the map. And here are the orcs in the north with a huge ship, yeah, as you can see, with a lot of villages and uh, towns under each control. Mostly in the mountains, so it's going to take some time for them to get out. Maybe it's going to buy us some time to go through uh, this little passage here and uh, while the forces of Rasnod is trying to cross uh, this river only one hex unfortunately and with three bridges that's going to help them a lot and uh, really close to where the elves are yeah and we see some great trees here in the elves territory and with the really nice keep to call their own in the middle of the forest rich here I bet and we do have some forces now with us uh, these are i think randomly chosen to be available for you thankfully the game chose um, the one the units that have pretty good amount of women points yeah so that's something that i can make use of um, although i don't know whether the movement of six is going to be good enough um, to avoid the battle completely yeah. I mean, if it was the Elvish Rider, I guess it yeah has a tremendous amount of range. And Conrad himself, I mean, it's kind of powerful, of course. Six moon points I see to be the, the minimum. So I guess we can uh, get on with a pretty brisk pace if we try. Uh, and then find that uh, little space or corridor that we can use to get through this area. Uh, just a second, just lower the music sound a bit. Alright, good. Yeah, so, um, I guess we have to use this guy to scout ahead. And if you can see something pop up here saying there's some invalid WML found, I checked this on the internet, search for the syntax error. And apparently it is due to the you know, once again, the uh, save file from the previous version causing glitches in the um, current version that I'm using. Which, yeah, one one of those problems that prop up. Uh, I wonder if some of the armor and items that we gain along the way, especially Lysar's Void Armor, is also part of that, um, yeah, part of the ongoing problems with the incompatible versions. So, um, yeah, please do not mind it. Yeah, so let's get a layout of the land first. And there's some frozen tiles, so I have to be careful because this seriously impedes our progress, especially for the elves and the humans. We also use the legs to travel. Um, okay, so this guy I think is a new unit. Thankfully, um, we gained this good unit to have around, especially when you are in the forest. You can scout for us. Yeah, so like this. With 10 movement points, you can definitely us outpace us and, um, and you know, see where all things are. Alright, see some villages down. I don't know whether there's going to trigger something special. Yeah. So overall, I mean, I do have only one turn of equipment before this keep goes away to cover the tracks so they do not follow us although they definitely see us when we are trying to cross right in between them and as they charge against each other yeah i need to be careful and um, maybe bring in some units that can uh, really make a break for it yeah so i wonder i mean the humans are uh, constrained here so like here I wonder if they'll be spreading across 
to where we are. This section. I don't think so because I think they're just trying to cross the rivers and then go directly against the orcs. So I guess we have to see that. What, what's going to happen to them. Uh, so I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use the thief to maybe go down and try to capture all this area first and then stay elusive. And maybe just run away. I don't know whether that's going to be possible, but run away whenever um, there's a slight chance of the West North forces you know, trying to cross here and do some flanking movement against the orcs through this area. Alright, so Karen Stephanie will have to follow the rest of the group. And now we have to bring in some units. Yeah, so um, I think we'd probably bring in some good units. They can move pretty fast. But this is a unit they can bring, maybe, because this guy provides healing and also uh, some uh, pretty good attack to boot. So maybe if you are kind of I don't know, beset with some forces, especially uh, when we are trying to go through the battle. And if there are certain units they can track pretty fast, like the what is it, the wolf riders or uh, the cavalry on the west north side, if they can track us down, then this guy would be uh, pretty useful to fend them off. Major light, okay, so it's rather slow. Silver mage. Okay, pretty good movement, and it can also transport around, so I guess it's going to be pretty useful. Yeah, so... Um, Red Mage, well, no, he's pretty slow. Although he's loyal, so it's not going to cost us upkeep. So let's bring the Paladin. And also the... Where was the Silver Mage guy? Yeah, here we go. And... Yeah, I guess we can bring some Aegis Scotch too, they're pretty quick. And they can protect us from the side. But I do believe I have a... veteran Elvish Rider. Let's see, I cannot organize this troops based on movement point. I can probably just write it down here. Yeah, Elvish Rider and Gryphon Rider. Um, yeah, movement of 10 is awesome. So I guess I bring this guy in, and also I saw that I spied that Gryphon Rider. And Gryphon Rider normally costs 24. And this guy is able to travel. How many movement points does it have? He's able to travel how many hexes? Strong and quick, so I like those traits. And okay, 9 is not bad at all because of quickness. He can travel one more hex and uh, almost at the level of the rider. Yeah, and he's a flying unit, so he can just travel wherever he wants without any restriction. And speaking of which, I can bring the shine, provide some healing without any kind of restriction to each movement. And there's another unit to bring in if I am uh, worried about whether our main force will be attacked. Yeah, seven is decent, so let's bring her in. It's a insurance policy. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep the units, I mean the army too large, although I basically brought in almost everybody that I can. So let's just keep this uh, forces. Yeah, let's just end here and then uh, try to maybe uh, move these guys across and see if I can uh, make it work. Yeah, so uh, to provide, uh, to offset the kind of losses that we want to incur, um, to our coffers, maybe it would be a good idea to use some of these units, best units, to capture the villages as many as they can. Yeah, and see where it leads us. Of course, Conlet has to step off and then uh, try to uh, yeah go as fast as he can. Yeah, let's just measure out of curiosity how many it's going to take without any kind of interference. Okay, so it's going to take 13 turns, even without any kind of interference uh, by the looming battle. And uh, the amount of turns that I have for well level is 18, so yeah, I don't have a lot of um, leeway here in order to uh, go around or do some cute stuff with the rivers. Yeah, trying to outsmart the AI. 
Yeah, I think there will be so many units that we have to bide our time or something. I don't know if there will be any window between the forces uh, resting or something after they have expended all their forces in the first few turns, at least. And I do wonder if the battles right now going on or if they're trying to charge against each other from their respective starting areas. Alright, well, let's just go and see. Alright, so no movement on their side, but we have to basically see. Um, yeah, alright, so it's pretty quiet. Yeah, it was too quiet. Let's move on. Yeah, okay, so it's a pretty good pace. With all the heroes on hand. And the support cast is going to try to follow as best as possible. Now this guy doesn't have to worry too much because they just have to capture village and wait. And uh, I think... Yeah, I think I... Um, Wanted this guy to capture some villages to the south, so he's gonna do that. And Ku here, Ku, is going to. Oh, yeah, the cube is gone, my goodness. I wonder who was responsible for destroying everything. But yeah, Ku is going to uh, try to capture some villages here. Yeah. Nobody in sight. Wow. And this guy will just hold up on the other side of the army and Shai will try to... Uh, maybe... yeah, I don't know whether that is a good idea I don't think I have enough time to do any kind of battle or standing defensively uh, as this guy will try to heal up as many uh, units as possible if uh, things get bad yeah, I don't know still no sign of the orcs and then the West Not Forces, although we can definitely see where they might be. Yeah, they might be around near the villages already. I guess if they capture the villages... Wait a minute, this is purple. Are the purple the color of the elves? Uh, I guess the West Not is intruding upon the elves and then now uh, it's going to be capturing all these villages. Um. Yeah, I think the orcs have not even captured the villages here yet, so if they have arrived to the battlefield, then we know this because they have little flags up. Uh, meaning that they already have captured and occupied it and then moved on. Oh yeah, now we see them. They are some orcs. We must let them fight the men of West North. Avoid engaging them at all costs. Yeah, so Deathfather has the right idea. We have to sort of wait them out or something before we find a chance to just kind of sneak through. Um, maybe there will be some kind of a law in the fight we can make use of. But this guy is already... Um, I think he can definitely reach the rider uh, and then can threaten us as we try to progress. Um, yeah, so I think we just try to keep out of their movement range, which I think doubles as their sight range. So yeah, we just try to get, uh, get this guy's positions just outside of this guy's range. Let's try to do that. Alright, so... Okay. We're still moving. Yeah, so it was not the end. So, comrade, do you think we can simply trot across the battlefield? Stop for a moment, princess. Look, you can barely see them in the distance there, but the demand scotch have found each other. The queen's troops are marching full speed for the orcs' camp, and vice versa. These armies are out for blood. But they will not neglect to notice our presence in their midst. We are walking into slaughter. Hush. Our soldiers will defend us as we rush across the field. Sorry to be blunt, princess. But you and I are the only ones who need to make it across alive. Wow, comrade. Way to go, comrade. My goodness, you call yourself a commander? That for the... yeah. I heard you, comrade. How dare you say this? How dare you say such mean things? My heart is broken. Look at me weeping. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what's the objective actually? Um, that? Oh, okay, he noticed. Yeah, Delphoder is a mean, mean side gaze and uh, he has to backtrack. And Delphoder, of course, and Kellens, and. Ah, I understand, comrade. I'm no stranger to the burden of command. Onward. Yeah, I think 
The upper now uh, might as well just go for Lysar instead of um, you know, sticking with Conrad all this time. Um, well, I mean, there is a time where Delphler, you know, apparently abandoned Conrad to his own devices in the most horrific battle that took place at the Siege of Elensvar, so I guess, yeah, Conrad is kind of hurt over that. And I'm kind of hurt over that, but, yeah, that's pretty funny. I don't know whether that is going to come back to bite him in the end, but, um, yeah, he's trying to check the objectives, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Um, uh, Conrad must reach, yeah. So not even Lysa, only Conrad has to reach the forest. So maybe there is a way to exploit this objective. But nobody has nobody can get hurt or I mean killed. And 16 turns left. Okay, so let's get to it folks. Right, let's just arrange ourselves. Okay, just outside of the area. And this guy is apparently yeah, in full range of this guy's sight and movement, so let's just move this guy down a bit. Um, to south. Yeah, let's not waste a turn. Let's just try to see what is happening in the south. Nothing much. Let's still move. Yeah, I don't see, I don't see anybody here. Okay, and there's a little bridge here that you can cross also. And crew can capture here. Yeah. And we have, well, not a lot of income now, but I think, hey, there's like a little bit of a board here. Yeah, it's uh, not, I guess it's better for movement compared to the shallow water. There's a bit of a crossing area here. Okay, so I don't know whether that would have made a difference, but we're just trying to take the direct approach because I believe that there is not enough turns for us to actually do anything. Uh, try to negotiate our way across the waters and um, trying to outflank these guys while they fight. Although it might be pretty nice if I can do that. Um, yeah, this guy could probably look and see what is happening over here. Yep, enemy unit sighted. Um, Alright. Okay, so let's see if I can check them a bit more. No, I guess not. Wow, this music is really blaring. Definitely tells of the desperate situation that we are at. We are in. Okay, so that's all I believe. Yeah, just stay right here. Wait until the wolfish rider pass by to their west north enemy. Okay. Yeah, just went by. That's nice. And they're capturing the villages and unfortunately we cannot see whether they have captured this villages as well, but I think they did already. And then the whole slew of Elvish... Oh, we can definitely see it, uh, at least from the the absence of flag that has changed size. So the human was not forces already encroaching upon this area. Yeah, okay, so at least I can know that. And nine is falling, so we gotta be careful. Let's capture here, just in case. Oh, alright, so that is not really good. Okay, so capturing it, yeah, it's counted as a uh, action, willful action. So I cannot go back and undo it. All right, at least we are out of the range of the wolfish fighter. I hope. Okay, so we gotta make the march or the formation narrow so we can exploit the little bit of a sliver of opportunity uh, as it opens up and take it as fast as possible. Okay, so Thief is able to actually go down here and then perhaps capture all this area. Nice. Some extra money. Let's see what is happening. Oh, enemy unit sighted. Okay, so that was that Orkish Rider. Oh my goodness. He can uh, attack our um, two of our units. Oh no, that's not good. Let's see what is happening here. Oh, okay, nothing much. Okay. So, I guess they have kind of emptied themselves or something, although I'm not in the range of looking at what is happening in the keep, but I think they are definitely actively recruiting. Yeah, so let's go back. And I sir, just stay. No, let's just move a bit down. Okay, get away from the orcs. Okay. 
Of course, of course. Oh, I'm taking Delphodor. Oh, goodness, I think we have been noticed by the orcs, folks. Um, bad news. Yeah, although we can probably engage him. Oh, alright, cool. Hello there. It just passed me right by. Okay. Um, Talendil. Okay, so I thought it was my unit because my unit is called like Talendil or something. Exhausted. We have Pant. Finally found you. Okay, so I think this guy is supposed to come from the forest, but um, appeared from the southwest. Huh. Well, I mean, it's an Elvish county, so. Elvish country, so I guess um, that might be possible. But yeah, I mean, that is some crazy movement point this guy had. It's going all the way across the waters and everything to try to meet us. And he's loyal. Wow, cool. And uh, level 2 and um, can I control him though? But I think he's going to be on our side. Alright, so 27. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can do this. And try to finish him off with the bow. Get some experience. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Alright, so first of all, I gotta check whether you're in danger. Yeah, we're in danger. Uh, this guy is going to yeah, maybe capturing this village, so we're just going to be outside of the range, hopefully. Oh my gosh, even more. This is danger. Definitely danger. They're moving under the cover of night, folks. I think we should just stay here and then stand pat. Yeah, I think Lysa should try to fight for getting that experience. Yeah, and she's gonna heal. That's good. Anywho, yeah, that's pretty scary. Um, let's uh, stay outside of the range. I give them two hex buffer. Just in case. And the death order? Okay. Get healed by the... No, actually, Sam Ben, I don't think you should come. Yeah, you're kind of tagging along and um, just be better off trying to capture the villages and transport if needs be. And this guy could spy on the northern area. Okay, so not much going on here, right? Yeah, okay. So Ku could come down and help us from the skies. Nice. Right, so we move all our units. Gotta be careful. Battle is brewing. Hopefully we'll be able to see some of the battle. Yeah. What kind of units that they have. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I should just get out of that area as fast as possible. Oh my goodness, I'm getting... Oh no, if I lose this guy, I might have to restart. Alright, the rest of the troops are going their way, that's good. Alright, no more. No more. Oh, okay. Nice! Yeah, it's actually helping us. Huh. It's a nice way of, uh... Yeah, nice reinforcement. Two enemy units sighted, even though he's hurt, he's able to gain some intel. Uh... Yeah, this guy might attack us, though. Let's move this guy a bit north. Let me see uh, if I can sort of wait. For them to pass. Yeah, as long as I stay outside their range, movement range or sight range, I think I'm safe. Um, I guess could could um. All right. How far can they travel? Oh my goodness! You have all these units, folks. Level three, slower bow. Wow. Eleven times three, nineteen times three, fifteen times three. These guys are just obscene in terms of strength. In the night, that is. Maybe I should run my Mage of Light just in case. 55. Wow, these guys are just crazy. Uh, 
Well, I don't think that is a good idea. Well, I've just made a choice anyways. Okay, so let's... Okay, so gain some experience. I don't know whether that was worth it, but... Hopefully it was. Let's just creep across, just in case. Yeah. Um, sure. I don't wanna get noticed by both of them, but maybe I just have no choice but to uh, try to go as close as possible. This guy can move up here, and then I can move up a bit farther up. Just waiting, just waiting. Okay, so any other villages to capture? Apparently not. Samben will just stay there. Or the thief can move here. Trade and Samven can move and try to capture the other village. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so here we are waiting for them to pass. Both the knight and the orc forces to pass. Uh, please evade. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, goodness. Yeah, supporting me. Goodness, are you kidding me? Just move on ahead, folks. Yeah, good, good. And now uh, it's time for the support unit image to take over. Um, the human forces are also acting out, I think. Yeah, they are definitely moving very quickly to face the orcs. Um, alright. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, okay. Lower and dear. Lower cannons, lower comrade, our forces are nigh. Do not lose hope. Okay, well, I'm kind of antsy, but not losing hope just yet. Okay. Let's see, enemy decided. Okay, so, try to ensnare this guy. Nice. Just at the last moment. And Lysard, are you off for it? Hmm, I need to, maybe this guy could also go for it, but I think Lysard's upgrade is much more important right now. So let's check. Yep, keep moving. Alright, so we are outside of the range. We can capture here without problem. Um, Probably not. Yeah, I think I can still move on. Oh my goodness, there are... Oh, finally we found the humans. There they are! Charge! I hope they meant the orcs, not us. Okay. Um... Nicer could... Yeah. Easy pickings. Easy pickings for Lysa. You can do it, Lysa. Oh, Lysa. Oh, Lysa. Um, yeah. Somebody has to get killed, so I'm gonna move down here and then the ranger will fill up and try to finish him up. Come on, ranger, use your bow. Nice, almost at the edge of being leveled up. Alright, oh, cannons. No, no, shit. No, I never go near them. Yeah. Man, the music is blaring like crazy. Uh, Koo, can you finish this guy off, please? Uh, perhaps he could uh, go down though. Yeah, he could go down and not really risk too much. I mean, if, he, if this guy comes down, then I can finish him off because I know that there won't be any workforces trying to uh, follow up. So, at least I have that. Yeah, and this guy... They could still um, work together to capture. Yeah, I think Sanven can also move up here and then try to go down and see what's happening. Oh my goodness, look at all these orcish forces. I mean, if these guys hope to engage us, then we are done for. But they're not. They see the more troubling rest of forces. And wow, look at that. They make quick work. And the Wolfish Rider makes a wise choice and do not opt to- Oh yeah, here we go. 
one of them have hot. Yeah, one of them definitely smelled our presence. Yeah, the battle is fierce. Oh, and the mages. I think that's the level 2 mages. We feel well. Oh, okay, got hit there. Um, what are you trying to do? The death wish. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess in a way they are stopping these orcs in their tracks, but I don't want them. I just want them to move past this area so we can cross right after them because I don't really see any orcish forces. I don't know where their main path of march is, but perhaps it's going to be here because it's the closest and fastest route to to the battlefield. So yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Well. Alright, so more targets to face. Thankfully, the rest of the Orcish forces are being blocked. And can you do something, Lysar? No. Uh, I guess this guy could do some attacks. Ah, uh, yeah, still going to get targeted. Sure. That was pretty bad. Okay. Um. Nice, Sarah. I think he's. She's going to miss at least once. Already two, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's either this or that. Okay, this guy, yeah, okay. misses one. Now, Lysa can finish this guy off. Yeah, nobody's coming or can reach us. So, come on, finish him off. Good, good. And now, Battle Princess. Nice. Alright, this Battle Princess definitely looks like she wore that armor. Uh, let's check. Some resistances, although the void armor resistance is not reflected. And she doesn't gain an extra attack mode of attack, but increases the saber prowess. Yeah, the damage dealt by the saber. Trusty, trusty saber. Okay, alright, so that's pretty cool, especially now that she... Oh, she's neutral too, so she doesn't get... Yeah, I mean, she's not... She's not that much of an offensive powerhouse like like Conrad is now, but yeah, I guess I take whatever I can. Alright, Samvin says see ya and then move across. Yeah, and maybe you are spying for the thief himself. And the thief can just move along the edge of the map and try to see if he can gain more more villages. Yeah, we do have some villages now. We are gaining 8 gold pieces a turn, so that's pretty cool. And I'm losing money the first time in a long while. Alright, oh my goodness, that poor mage. Oh, not that poor. Oh goodness, this is a waste. This is definitely a damn waste. Oh my goodness, that's unfortunate. Wow, that's amazing. Now it's light outside. These humans can attack like nobody's business. Um, yeah, eight turns. Oh my god, there, there is a cavalry. Yeah, should I wait or? Oh my goodness, where are you going? Leaving all these guys behind. Um, yeah, I mean they cannot reach us, but goodness. so should I try to go up? Yeah, we definitely have to see what is going on up there. If they're actually trying to um, follow up with their attacks. Yeah, I don't really see them right now, but check right here. But yeah, things are not going to our according to plan, that is. Let's try to get away from the humans too, because they seem to be kind of yeah very strong now in the south. Hopefully these guys will forget that we were here just a moment ago and then 
engage uh, the humans and stuff as we try to maybe even use yeah we have to probably use this pathway and there's no other choice and by then the orcs might also come in force it's going to be trouble okay penis might have to leave you behind okay and finally the mage is captured by green party which is the west north forces i believe yep they're the greens okay let's see what happens oh no half of the turns have been passed okay so these guys are going oh my goodness now they're following up with another wave oh boy yeah and nine is approaching so we need to make haste yeah, and then try to maybe cross across the frozen tundra Yeah, that's not ideal, but has to do. Yeah, this this unit with the wings, it can definitely cross into the uh, frozen areas and then uh, see what is up. And checking the movement cost, frozen is three, so I don't think you can do it. Yeah, it's gonna take uh, ages. So we need to follow these guys as close as possible. I mean. You just have to deliver Conrad, so I mean, these guys will not have to, you know, trouble themselves too much. But now, since yeah, we are now being followed by a wolfish rider, we need to make haste. Maybe he's going to get attracted by capturing the village back. Yeah, so we're just going to go right here and then wait for the guys to pass and then take a break for it. I wonder how's the battle right now. I uh, cannot really see exactly, but humans were definitely making use of the light conditions. And dominating, I think, at the edge of the battlefield at least. But hopefully these guys will hide them up so that we can pass through. And I think that we lost all the reinforcement that we got from the Elvish faction. I mean... They themselves have a pretty huge keep and a lot of villages, so maybe they're producing units as we speak. Yeah, so all three sides are in a struggle. Locked into battle. Hopefully, yeah, we can just pass by. Yeah, okay. It's good, they're going down. Yeah, now we have the corridor that we are talking about. That's the only way, I think. So we need to go and then... Enemy unit. Okay, so... Yeah, this guy can come up and then... Destroy... Not destroy me, attack me, but... Uh, maybe I should... Move back one... Hex up. Oh gosh. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, they're orcish. Okay, so they... They still have some units. They can fight against the humans, and they're going to have an upper hand now since it's night. Now this guy could go all the way here and then see what is happening on the average side. He seems to be pretty quiet. Yeah, okay, so these guys can cross. Um, yeah, okay. A bit of rear guard here, so that Conrad is protected. 21, and yeah, I think this guy might be able to upgrade, so that's why I'm putting him. Uh, in the hopes that this guy will provide some more experience. But it's going to be a pretty hefty price though to pay in terms of damage if they uh, manage to land all three attacks. Yeah, okay. Alright, so yeah, okay, we can capture a few of their villages, but not more. Alright, so let's see what happens. Okay. Oh no, Kenneth is being attacked. Okay. Oh wow, that's amazing. The last two attacks were successful. Okay, good, good. Now they're charging against the humans. The Wolfish Rider is, um, yeah, kind of sniffing around, making way. Lomiondra. There you are. You must come quickly east to Lintanir. 
will try. Okay, I think I shouldn't really capture their villages because that's their source of income that they're using to provide us with reinforcements. Right? Yeah, so I don't think I captured their villages. I'm just going to see what they have here. Okay, a friendly unit. So I think we are in the safe territory now. Two friendly, one enemy. Okay, so they are... Oh, wow, great mage. Level 4, folks. I never seen a level 4 unit before on the human side. Oh my goodness. And these guys are all level 1 though. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're going to be in a heap of trouble. Fortunately, this guy... I mean, Sadri. Goodness, Sadri. Fortunately, these guys are in the forest and this guy is hurt. Although, it might have... Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure that this guy started with experience of 0, and now he's at 51, so he killed a lot of units. Yeah, a lot of works. 11. So let's try to finish this guy off. Alright. Yes! Great. So upgrade my unit to Ambush Avenger. My goodness. Yeah, same Ambush attack that he can do in the forest. And he's a loyal unit, so he has been with us for a long while. And uh, one of the trigger um, special unit that appears. I think he appeared in the crossroads, I believe. I'm not so sure, but yeah, Neo DN definitely a unit that is going to be with us until the very end. And now we are trying to, yeah, for one more turn, act as a rear guard here, and then um, see if I can. Gosh. Wait one more time, one more turn. I think Conrad could, yeah, at least you know, cross a bit sliver of this ice just to prepare. And Conrad only has to cross this area, okay? It has to be in the ice, okay? All right. Enemy unit, okay. Let's see what is happening. Yeah, all these guys will go down. And what is happening here? Thief can follow up and see what is happening. And this guy just. Alright, so. Oh my goodness, it's rather close to how far this guy can move. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I haven't really seen a lot of you know open field battles, so I cannot really. I mean, this huge amount of movement range for these guys is kind of mystifying to me. Should get used to it though, as the battle gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, they're all going south. Please go south. All right, now we are being swamped by these guys. Yeah, I think this is time to move. Ah, it's time to move. Oh no, 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 please, no, please, don't. Oh boy, oh Jesus, yeah, now they're coming. Oh, you bastard. Oh my goodness, they're pushing pretty hard against the elves. Please die. And extra, wow, right away, upgrades to a captain. My goodness, that's amazing. Maybe this guy could have gotten a shot in or something, and then become really lucky. But right now, it's no time to dawdle, it's time to move. It's time to move. Now these guys are... yeah. Okay, now what can I do here? Yeah, Wolfish Rider will still keep coming. So... gosh darn it. I think Conrad Mansion Lysar also has to join him, so I try to at least give them the pathway. Yeah, five turns left, folks. The follower, he protect this guy as much as possible. I think I um, in a really bad situation here. Yeah, now these guys are coming. Shoot. 
Uh, right. 24. Uh, okay. I guess I can survive. Hopefully. I take for three signs, so I don't think I can do that. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh my goodness, I didn't really hope to kind of try to measure the movement for every of these guys to escape and then revive. But yeah, I mean, things have come to a pass that I need to do that. Not too bad, but that's why it is. This guy is getting a bit of healing going on there, and I capture the village and maybe move out as soon as possible. I don't know if I can make it though. Thankfully this is morning. It's going back, probably to get healed. Ah, oh, goodness. Yeah. Even more guys are now on our track. Um, I think they are kind of reorganizing their... Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a crazy amount of forces. We really need to haul our behind. Um, I don't know whether it's going to help, but yeah, at least I want to do something. Alright, now, can you move? Can you move, guy? Barely. Onto the snow. By some time, that is. Yeah, precious, precious time. It has a bit of a barrier here, but I don't know for how long. Alright. Right, now you have to move. Move, move, move. On red. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening down there, but still there's some fight going on. Yeah, and these guys can move pretty quick too. Um. Uh, I need to probably kill him. Come on, nice. Good job. Nice or two, move. And now this guy can go down a bit. Yeah. Stay together, folks. Okay, now let's see if I can evade these two huge armies now congregating to face off against each other. Um, these guys in the ice will not be able to make it into the Elvish castle. But let's see if Conrad can make it. Oh, he can barely make it if he uses all his movement points. Oh my goodness, I don't know whether this is going to be enough. Oh, okay. Or which guys are still there. All right, yeah, there's, they seem to be moving in a, in a direction that I like them to move, which is away from us and down to face the hills. Wow. Yeah, these guys regain a lot of experience themselves, look at that. Like they gained a whole lot of experience, almost at the level up. Oh, this pike man. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's amazing. It's amazing, folks. My goodness, how much upkeep that's gonna cost. Oh, that's pretty silly. Right now, cool. Yeah, you gotta... Yes. This is worrying. Yeah. At least this only one unit. And the Paladin can heal Lysar if possible. I mean, if Lysar... I mean, Lysar... Uh... Can Shide make it there? Barely. Um... 
Okay. Sure. Sure you're going to get protected a bit. Okay. Yeah. Let's try to move as fast as possible. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, it's pretty close, but a lot of immediate danger there is. Let's check what is happening. Okay, and we decided. So this thief should just go back. Uh no, I think that's okay I made made my choice. There might be a lot more units here coming from this side. And some of it may be able to target this guy. Oh boy, that's going to be pretty bad then. Yeah, Okish guys are now yeah, heading there. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm all he could be asked for. Now they're engaging the orcs. This big, big battle that we can just see a clue himself. Yeah, that I expected. Oh, he just finished them. That's good. Yeah, no, I think Samvan should get out. Yeah, this guy is really worrying. Um, yeah, at least they're following a general um, path to face the uh, orcs. Oh, kill him, please. Make way for Conrad. Okay. Alright. Alright. Oh no, goodness gracious. What is this thing? 25 times 2. Oh gosh, darn it, that's not good. <sighs> yeah, friendly unit. Okay, you gotta do something here. You gotta really be. Okay, so this guy cannot reach me. This guy. Yeah, these guys are all our friends, so I will try to... Comrade, you made it to the domain of the North Elves. Continue moving east, and let the Elves guard your rear. Well, this guy is not freezing his... Uh, freezing his uh, behind yeah, in the tundra. He's able to give him the last instructions. So that we can move on from this very... Oh my goodness, this is quite troubling. Uh, maybe I can um, bend this guy off, although this guy might just... I don't know what's going to happen. I hope that that guy just goes to engage the orcs, but I mean they have plenty of troops here, so they might try to uh, splint off and then attack Lysar. Uh, in her... I mean, I guess she can be trusted to defend for herself. I mean, she's a battle princess, after all. Conrad has finally reached it, and now uh, this guy should go back. It's a bit too close for comfort. Alright, yeah, keep moving. Yeah, good. Alright. Hopefully they can make their way across the battlefield after Conrad has uh, finally reached the Elvish Kingdom. Alright, is it the humans first or orcs first? Um, okay, now the humans first. Nice, the elves are tightening them up. Okay, so I think Conrad is able to make it to the keep next turn. Before uh, everything goes to... Oh my goodness, I knew it! Well, it's not too bad. Nice, finish him. Nice, 12 damage. That's amazing. They can hold their own. Oh, uh, this guy could get upgraded if it's... Yeah, if it's too... Oh, nice. Elf friends, you have made it to safety. Irene, we have the Scepter of Fire with us. Instead of Conrad, I mean, his name is now Scepter of Fire. More or less. We must escort them to Elensria. 
then Conrad is like, what, what about me? Indeed, we'll escort you to our capital, where we'll make counsel. Nice, we are emerging victorious. Yeah, alright, so we just had to reach the end of the, or the edge of the elvish area. A very magical forest. And that was all it took. With only one turn to spare. Yeah, so that was pretty close, but we got the bonus gold and we upgraded some units. Um, more importantly, Lysar in addition to the Avenger. So that's, that's pretty good. Alright, yeah, okay, that's pretty cool. So can you actually, there's a way to actually watch the battlefield though. Um, let's see, um, is there a way to, is it this? No. Um, statistics. Okay, let's just check the statistics. I haven't checked this for a long time. Uh, okay, so overall, plus 4% taken, inflicted negative 6. I think that was pretty even. And this is for the campaign. I guess I took a bit more, perhaps. Yeah. But it's pretty even. I have 43 recruits, 68 recalls, 15 advancement, only 6 losses, huh. I don't think so. I don't think I have lost only 6 units. I don't know, that's really weird. Status table. Oh, I don't really even know the leaders of these guys. Yeah. Their setting goal is 400, basic come 14, 18 for the West Nunt forces. Okay. Save map. I think preference is where I can display uh, or get the fogs turned off. But yeah, I don't really try to mess with it too much. Yeah. Alright, so let's end the scenario. Hopefully, um, it's not going to cause any more errors. The Elven Council. Alright, so instead of what I expected, um, the guys will head toward, toward this side because this is the only empty area of the map. They've gone to the, yeah, Lintanir Forest to make counsel of the scepter fire that is now amongst them. Whereas Conrad has to give, give it up and else might take over the rest of the known world. They now have the artifact that they so long for. Yeah, so they are just using Conrad all this while. I don't think so. Wow. Another oh, Irish Lord. I think this is a unique portrait for this character. Cool. Red... Sorry. You read Redia. Red Redia. Greetings and welcome to our capital. You should feel honored. It has been half a century, a generation in the way your race counts time. Since any man has been considered elf friend enough to stand here in Elensria. Okay, so he's an elf friend. Alfred? Uh, we are indeed honored. I will also say that it is you who are honored. It has been so long since you have been graced by the presence of a princess of West North. Oh, princess, I think you have the scepter. Silence, foolish girl. With such arrogance, is it any surprise that the royal family of West North long ago saw their ancient alliance fall to pieces? Ah, uh, yeah, you're right, sir. It is I who am honored to be here and apologize for my discourtesy. The of the Great, as wise with his tongue in advice as is strong with his staff in battle. A rare combination, especially among men. Peren Perendra. How quickly does the race of men mature? Only 17 winters have passed since I last laid eyes on you, comrade. Yet you are now a grown man. A proven warrior stands before me. Um. Forgive me, Elf, but I'm afraid I do not recall meeting you before. I'm sorry, I else, all else look alike. Conrad, this is Perendra. She helped me rescue you from the clutches of Ashfear. I had no idea. Thank you, my lady. It is a pleasure to meet you again. 
rescued him from my mother? But 17 years ago, Conrad would have been an infant. What is this you are talking about? Your mother has much blood upon her hands, child. She has had many killed unjustly. When Conrad was an infant, she ordered all the princes put to death so she could seize control. She had them murdered? There are others too, not just Conrad. Surely you do not speak the truth. Perandra, what do you say? Princess, when Daphne the Great speaks of the Queen Dowager Eshvir ordering the princes of Westnot to be put to death, he speaks the truth. And what say you, Elf King? I did not say it myself, Princess, but I have heard many reliable reports. Ashvir indeed has the blood of the princess on her hands. She has also allowed orcs to desecrate the lands, abandoning all respect for the peoples around her. Yeah, that's what your mother is, princess. Your mother. Well, I had a scepter. No, you don't. I return and the people will accept me as queen. My mother is only queen dowager. Um, okay, so I guess the scepter legitimizes her rule, perhaps, so I think there's a bit of a revolutionary streak in Lysar. Now she's trying to uh, usurp the throne for herself. My mother is only Queen Dowager. The throne is rightfully mine, and rule from it with justice and fairness. I may even accept you as my advisor and counselor, Delphador. What about Conrad? No, you had a scepter, princess. It is rightfully Conrad's. You have it now only because we helped you get it. And if I refuse to give it to him? If it's necessary, princess, I will ask Conrad to fight you in a duel for it. Daphodor, Lysar has become my friend. I don't want to fight her. As long as she rules well, what does it matter if she becomes queen? You are the rightful heir. You should be king, Conrad. Although I was really hurt by your comment not needing me in your company. Daphodor, you have raised Conrad to be skillful and wise, honorable and just. A warrior who has respect and appreciates peace. Yet the throne is not the place for him. You know what I speak, Daphodor. But I do not. What is your meaning, Perandra? In time, things will be revealed, fair princess. For the moment, go forth and claim the throne of Vesna. Perandra, what you say may seem right to some, but... As long as you and I speak to no one of what we know, I see no reason why Conrad would not best have the throne. In so many things you are right, Dalfador, and your wisdom is unmatched in the world of men. But in this you are mistaken. Lysar is the heir. She should take the throne. Now that I have met her for myself, I am sure of it. She will claim the throne and not me. What should I do? Well, you have Daphodor and Kalins and... Lysar should be queen, but you will go with her. Who's this parent? Uh, I mean, who is she to speak all this about who should be king and who shouldn't? Maybe she's the queen of the Irish lands, perhaps? Irish lady, it says in the description. Yeah, I guess she has some authority. Um, supposed to be a uh, Elvish society, it's a matriarchal society that uh, Irish lady might rule over the land. Lysar should be queen, but you will go with her. Indeed, I suspect we could not convince you otherwise. I have seen the way you look at her, Conrad. I think that you would follow her even to the ends of the earth. Actually, they, they're not... I think they're the only cousins, and you know, I mean, the old times, cousins um, also married. Yeah. There's love in the air. With all due respect, my lady, she's my cousin! There's nothing between us. Then if it is as you say, Conrad, perhaps you should stay here with us. It will surely be safer for you. The elves could show you things that would amaze you, things that no man has seen before. Hmm. What did he not see? I wonder. The wonders of the forest? Perhaps. I mean, I didn't see this crazy large chip here. It's just full of recruiting spaces for the entire army that could just demolish everything. So that is one. That is a generous offer, my lady, but you are indeed right. I would rather go with Lysar. He wanted to kill the Dark Queen himself, so I guess that's part of the reason too. 
And what say you, Red Radia? Tell me, Lysa, are you willing to fight your own mother for the throne? No, Conrad can take care of that. It is for the good of the country. If it's necessary, I will fight her, Elf King. I feel that this lady speaks the truth, Delphodor, although I know that you do not concur. The words of Perendra, daughter of Elendria, are wise. Rest here for the time, and then go forth with them. And you have been with us for a time, Canon son of Cleada. What say you? Wisdom has spoken here today, Delphodor. We have been with Lysar in the most trying of times, and risk life and limb with her, yet we still have both our lives and our limbs. She lacks experience and has too much of the freshness of youth, but she will make a good queen in time. So the Elfin Council has spoken. But which path should we take on our journey? The Ford of Vest will not be passable, or should it be watched and guarded by many men? There is another way by which you can return to Vestnod, past the mountains of the dragons, dragons, and through the Dark Valley, the land of the East. From there you can return to Vestnod and surprise the Dark Queen, catching her off guard. Yeah, going through the East, in the unmarked map, and then return to Vestnod. Mountains of the dragons? That sounds very dangerous. I didn't even think there were such things as dragons. No dragon has been sighted in those mountains for many years, but they retain their name of old. Still, their path will be dangerous for us. Is there not another route we might take? All routes are dangerous, though there is some hope along this path. Rest. And then go forth, friends. Fortune has smiled upon you so far, despite great dangers. Perhaps she will continue to do so. Yes, rest. Your soldiers will be tended to and refreshed. We have made sure you will leave our protection with the resources to finish your journey. Ah, okay, I don't know. I wonder what that means. Uh, that my forces will be rested. Maybe all of them will gain a level or something. After many days enjoying the strange food and finally the of his host, restlessness overtook Conrad. The urgency nagged at him as he donned a new tunic and fastened newly oiled leather straps. He strode the halls of the elven citadel, visiting and encouraging his soldiers. Many were elves about to leave behind the comfort and peace of their capital to make war on a vast human army. His war. And Lysars, I guess. The weight of death thought bore on him. Conrad stood on the ramparts, staring out towards the horizon as his men bustled below. But he suddenly realized why he was uneasy. He had been staring at thin streams of black smoke merging into the clouds far in the distance. He shouted orders to depart and was ardently obeyed. Okay, so the war is looming. Pelens' champion courtiers escorted Conrad and Delphodor through their forest, a near invincible vanguard. Okay, so this basically is um explaining the narrative instead of having to go into some mission. War has spread to the Northlands, but by taking long deserted trails through the rugged eastern hills, it failed to find a band of rebels. The high craggy peaks of the mountains of the dragons looked down on them in deserted desolation. As I can see, um, I think we are traveling through this forest. And yeah, just crossing around here I think. Uh, it doesn't really say anything about the mountains of dragons or anything like that, but I think that's where we are going. Conrad's small band of elves had grown to a massive army. The occasional hermit mage knew better than to interfere with its progress, and soon the plains of northeastern Westnoth lay before them. Okay. After spending the greater part of a year in remote dangerous ways, Conrad's heart left at the thought this journey was almost over. But the greatest danger lay ahead. He knew he was finally returning home. Wow, cool. Um, all right, return to Vesnoth. My goodness, is this the final battle? Uh, possibly not. We have to still cross this river. Yeah, so this is um, the Dragon Mountains. Perhaps he crossed with the band of elves, and now it's an army of elves. Yeah, so let's see what happens. Okay, nice keep. Melatus. Halt! 
Who goes there? Look, it is the trader Lysar, with the old mage and the filthy elven lord. Quickly capture them. The queen wishes to make them her prisoners. Oh, it's actually an upgrade from outright killing them or something. What? Me? A traitor? It is a queen who is a traitor for not obeying the wishes of King Garard II. We have the scepter of fire, so let us in. You leave us no choice but to kill you. Okay, <laughs> that was uh, rather quick. Yeah, Lysa doesn't really have the charisma to convince anybody. Um, I mean, she doesn't have the scepter of fire, to be honest. Yeah, that's what happened. Defeat all enemy leaders? I think there are four of them. Goodness. And it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big fight, folks. It's going to be your standard bash them into smithereens uh, until they run out of resources kind of thing. Josephus. Level 3 leadership. He's not too bad to deal with. Well, not just this guy. Could be trouble. Uh... Yeah, they are, they're going to bring a lot of level 2 units, I think, uh, into the battle. And these guys are apparently allied. Yeah, that is pretty interesting. So this is going to be a test for us to see how we fare against the humans once again. We faced them before, but now in a more direct manner of open battlefield where we're going to have to test our witch. Uh, especially now that we have some elves upgraded, they'll be pretty good against the humans or any other units in the forest but in the open space it's going to not do as well so we need to think about how to defeat them yeah but finally we have come to west north almost knocking on the doors and serving the dark queen uh, notice yeah so that's pretty exciting there was a bit of exposition so i hope that it was okay with you yeah trying to kind of be as immersed as possible in the final stretch of this campaign and see where it leads us. It would be pretty exciting, but I didn't really expect Lysar to take the throne. Uh, maybe it has to do with that, with her claiming the Scepter of Fire, although perhaps it may be... Yeah, I think maybe if Conrad had a Scepter... I mean, he does have the Scepter technically, but story-wise, Lysar has it. If Conrad had a Scepter, uh, then I think the Elvish Lord would really vouch for him in the council to allow Conrad to take the throne and Lysar might be offered to stay with the elves or something but she's going to go anyways and then um, follow him to the bitter end so yeah let's see what happens in this scenario and I hope you enjoyed this episode and until next time please stay tuned <laughs>